Give it Whoa. a second. Uh, don't say that for the camera now. It's not for the camera. It needs salt. I feel like it needs salt. <laughs> I can't. Uh. First attempt on making food probably ever. Yo, so bad. Um, no, you don't get one. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to Mr. and Mrs. Z and it's gonna be my first attempt ever trying to make pizza. So I'm gonna make the the sauce right from scratch and I bought the dough and I'm gonna take you guys through the steps. Hopefully it comes out good. Uh, we'll have a couple of people taste testing, aka mom and Uzair probably. And we'll check it out from there. I heard some rumors here. <laughs> There's uh, some suspicion about how the pizza might come out. I don't know, bro. I'm not sure yet. Really, eh? Wow. I think so. It's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be High good. Five. Making, uh, I saw some sauces there, like some halal. Now switch yeah. up on your thumb. Uh, yeah, there we go. Um, fresh sauce and everything. <laughs> what fresh. kind of high five was that? It was a high five thumb. No, you don't get one. What? <laughs> it's only for special there. people. <laughs> with some of the ingredients obviously we've got our you know crushed tomatoes that we're going to use to make the sauce out of uh, we got crushed chili pepper and then we got oregano and then we also have what's called I guess Kashmiri chili powder which is apparently paprika correct me if I'm wrong on that uh, we got some sugar and then we'll have salt as well just to make it taste as we like it and then I have some green peppers here we got some mushrooms going on and I and I have way too much because I really don't know what I'm doing but we'll figure it out at the end of the video uh, cheese two packets I think that's more than enough I got some halal beef salami pepperoni that you can probably get at any halal food store or Arab store or something like that chicken flavored blocks whatever they're called mom what are they called what do you call it? Bouillon Chicken cubes. Bou bouillon cubes. I don't know why they call it bouillon. Bouillon, bouillon, bou something like that. Anyways, you guys know. You guys get the point. Then we've got some fresh basil, about 20 leaves here. Um, and then also, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the garlic dip. So I'm gonna make that from scratch using uh, some garlic, mayo, salt, and pepper. So we're gonna have a dip for for the pizza as well. And then I got some olives. Because I'm a noob, I forgot to give you guys. Onions, it's one large red onion, or I guess two small ones. And I don't even know if these are red onions. These are probably not red onion, but I'm going to use them anyway because that's what I have. So we're going to cut it up for the sauce, and I'll lead you guys through the sauce process as I learn it myself. Oh god. This is the most painful part of cooking, like, you gotta put a warning sign up because it's a little bit painful. <laughs> what? It's cutting down. Uh, it's like torture. If you want to torture someone, you bring these, you tie them up, and you put onions to their eyes. I can't. He's crying. Oh, Lord have mercy. Alright, let's... Brush up. I don't know if you can see that, like six cloves. And so that's gonna, I'm just prepping all the stuff I need for the sauce at once, and then we'll go from there. If you want to know how to make these dough things here so i got like two or three in three in there you need to go to mama zay's channel and check out how she makes dough from scratch because i didn't do that and i kind of cheated there but if you want to know from scratch then i would suggest that you go there mama zay check it out these things smell so good basil leaves i didn't know like when you start breaking them the smell starts coming out it's really nice 10 of those for the sauce so So 
we're going to take two tablespoons of cooking oil and we're going to put it into a little pot here on medium heat. Next step after that, we're just going to let it heat up a little bit, like warm up, and then we're going to toss in the onions and cook that all together for a little bit until the onions become translucent. Next, we're going to add the crushed garlic and we're going to stir for about 10 seconds. Don't want it to go brown like I'm doing here, but we're just going to wing it for now. We're going to add one tablespoon of oregano. Then we got two teaspoons of red chili, crushed red chili. One tablespoon of paprika or kashmiri chili is what they call it. And this is the, the powdered form. So this here looks pretty deadly to be honest. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> but you have to stir it for 10 seconds. We're going to add this, uh, the tomato sauce to this after. The crushed tomatoes. That looks pretty good but it also looks deadly. Like I feel like if I ate this right now, I would have some serious issues. So this is where we got the tomato puree. Apparently there was another brand that I should have gotten, Gigi's or something like that, but this is what I could find. So I'm going to dump that in there. So we'll let this heat up for about a minute. After the puree, all I did was I added a chicken cube, a flavored chicken cube. What do you call it? Lava? Bouillon, chicken bouillon. bouillon. Yeah, some chicken bouillon thing in there. And then I also added a teaspoon of sugar and I'm just mixing it for about a minute's time. Supposed to add salt in here as well, uh, so I'm gonna figure out like how much salt I need. I'm not sure. All right, guys, we have a special guest to do the salt testing because I'm the obviously, worst with salt, so. whatever. <laughs> hmm. This is um tomato. This pizza sauce. Right? Yeah, yeah. I feel like it needs salt because it's it has, really tomato. Like it, there's something. I have like no salt in there at all. <laughs> yeah, I need salt. Okay, thank God I said I need salt. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to start with one teaspoon of salt and see how that does because I don't want to go overboard go overboard and mess it up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 10 basil leaves that I kind of chopped up a little bit by hand and toss them in there. So at this point, I'm just gonna let it uh, leave it at low heat and let it sort of thicken up a little bit, and then kind of taste it again and see from there. The last step will be adding another five leaves of basil into it once I'm happy with the flavor. All right, the next thing I'm gonna make is the garlic dip for the pizza. So we have some mayo. I'm gonna have some salt, pepper, and some garlic that we're gonna crush up into it. So we have one clove of garlic there. I'm going to put about four to five tablespoons of the mayo. And then I guess for the salt and pepper, I'll just do a pinch at a time. Right, Mom? What do you yeah, think? Yeah. That was Zara built on his channel. The video is going to be up soon, so check out Riazu on YouTube. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, He's falling. Oops. Oh, God. You fall on your sofa. Really, Sama? It needs salt. A little bit. I put only one teaspoon. I think I need more salt. Yeah, a right? little bit more, but remember, pizza does not have too much salt, so don't okay. put too much salt. Just put half. half another half. teaspoon? Yeah, another teaspoon. Okay. Please <laughs> test my garlic there. Yeah. Okay, but it's not like with my finger? Yeah, just put your finger to it. Yeah, but like. I wash my hands. Give it Whoa. a second. Give it a second. That's like the 
Perfect. You oh know, my god, that's so good. You know what it is? Five tablespoons of mayo. It literally salt, tastes pepper, like and one clove of garlic. Oh my god, that literally tastes like this. It's good, right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm still waiting on the sauce to sort of simmer down and um, you know take out all the water so it becomes a little bit thicker. And then in the meantime, what I'm going to do is start kneading this dough here flat onto those plates there. And essentially, I'm going to try to keep it thin and I'm just going to push it with my hands. Or you can use one of those kneading roller kind of things to so do that as well. And then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a thin layer of uh, sauce, right? And I'll put some cheese, then I'll put a few toppings, and I'll put cheese again. And then at the final end, I will put this salami or uh, beef pepperoni or whatever you want to call it and then we'll put it into the oven which is at 425 degrees celsius preheated and i think it's about 15 to 20 minutes but you got to keep an eye on it and uh, make sure that you're checking up what if the cheese is turned brown and check underneath the pizza and see if it's like you know it's uh it's well cooked and not raw and that's about it so we're almost there So here we're actually trying it with a roller. First we're doing it by hand. And now my mom's gonna do a roller and see how that works. It's a little bit more flatter. We'll see how it comes out, you know? We'll compare the two. All right, yo, you can taste test my garlic sauce. Oh, you're pointing it at me. I thought it was selfie right now. Oh, no. All right. Wait, and the both sauces? Well, one is the garlic sauce. So I, okay. Yeah, okay, you can do that one first. Try it. It's like the garlic dip. Oh, that's right? bomb. Yeah, you and then, that dip? yeah, from scratch. And then that's um, gonna be the base. Yo, that's pretty good, bro. Yeah, for I'm not even gonna lie, that's really good. Right? How long till it's made? Um, almost ready in a little bit. Yo, it smells good. <laughs> it actually smells really good. It's fresh, it's right? Bomb. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. see. I'm surprised that you made all this, actually. Well. guys so if you're a noob like me i don't trust the timing so i'm just gonna sit right here and watch it until it's time to pull out this is a finished pizza it took about 15 to 20 minutes i was just checking if it uh, if the cheese was browned and then um if the base was like you know cooked all the way through and my mom was also saying i could have put butter on it to make it a little bit crispy at the bottom but that's okay All right, now it's gonna be the big reveal. So my mom's doing the, the mushroom pizza with extra cheese and a little bit of sauce. Amazing. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, don't say that for the camera now. It's not for the camera. The sauce is good, like sauce it made a difference. The sauce is good, the, everything is so fresh. It's like fresh. fresh, right? Everything is fresh, like yeah. we eating it at Italy. Italy, Italy, yeah. Italy, eating in Italy. And then we got the picky eater. Yeah, picky eater. I'm gonna do the veggie one. Oh, good. Could be a little crunchier, but it's good. <laughs> the base is not crunchy, right? It's Bonsi's like soft. It's really good. The it flavors really are good, good, right? Yes, like we got I think it from I for, a restaurant. I forgot the butter on the bottom. Oh, it tastes good. And really so that's the thing with it. Thumbs All right, up, yeah. thumbs up for that. Mm -hmm. Tom has gone to work. But I am here and I'm gonna film Sana's reaction. This is my meal prep. Wow. And I'm gonna give three to Osama. It looks so pretty. I know, right? Cause Sama's down with it too. So do you wanna warm it properly first or not? Nah? Yeah. It's right there. So just microwave it? No, you gotta put it in the mini oven. Do one of these and then one of those. So he made that dip by himself. Well, he made everything by himself, so. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay. Even the dip by itself, mm -hmm. I was like, the dip is delicious. Oh, really, bro? Right? Mm -hmm. 
Wow. So, his first attempt at cooking something, he did good. Oh, yeah, right? amazing. Wow. Yo. So bad. Now <laughs> I can at least have pizza whenever I want. Turn to try. Well, he already kind of tried it. But Sama saved the pepperoni one for you. Oh, you didn't even warm it. So much flavor. So much flavor, right? It's this sauce that's so good. This whole thing is really good. And then he made marinara sauce. You want it? Okay, let me get it for him. Is it good? Yeah, I mean, it's just the same sauce that, like, he used as the pizza sauce. It's good, good, right? Yeah. Mm. I'm impressed. <laughs> Everyone's impressed. Even uh, Senna, she was like, wow, so proud. It's actually really good warm it all right guys that was my first attempt on making food probably ever i, think I mean eggs i, mean, I make eggs but not, not real cooking like, yeah. yeah not real cooking yeah no i couldn't have i couldn't have made this recipe without the help of rashid and bushra my friends so shout out to you guys for helping me through the process and helping me go through the grocery store finding all these ingredients it's actually their recipe so shout out to you guys and Mama Zaid for helping me with the dough situation because that was a little complicated, which she'll show you on her channel, which is not, it's not that complicated. I just didn't know how to do it. And Liva for uh, taste yeah. testing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. See you next time. Peace.